Good evening, fourth grade parents. I'm Mark White, and no, this is not another Steve White commercial. I, along with my partner, Ryan Hunt, are here to dispel any myths about fifth grade or middle school. Yes, parents, we are here to deal with the real news and true facts. And what better way to find out than speaking directly with fifth graders? After all, we are the experts. So sit back and enjoy this informational video that will answer all of your questions, but most importantly, tell the true facts. Yes, the truth and nothing, and the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And the truth is, fifth grade is awesome, and your child will absolutely love it. If you had to tell my parents one thing about fifth grade so they don't worry, what would it be? I would tell my parents that fifth grade is fun and awesome, but challenging at the same time. How many t times a week does PE meet and what do you love most about it? So you have PE um, four times a week and on um, the fifth day, it's a different day for each group. You have music um, and my favorite part about PE are the coaches. I heard we can learn to play an instrument in fifth grade. What are some instruments that we can learn to play? Some of the instruments you can play in the middle school are the trumpet, the trombone, the saxophone, the clarinet, the flute, the viola, the violin, cello, bass, and percussion. What games do they play at recess? The students in the fifth grade play fireball, wall ball, football, and basketball during recess. What happens during break? During break, you get your gym bag or your instrument and you go up to break and you get your snack and you can sit wherever you want during break. I heard we go on an overnight field trip in the spring. Where do we go? The fifth graders will visit Flat Rock, North Carolina and Camp Canuga in the spring. We will be there two days and it will take one and a half hours to get there. We will hike, do a climbing wall and a ropes course. Does spelling count in your writing class? Yes, spelling is very important in fifth grade. It is also used in your other classes too, such as reading and social studies. What are enrichment classes and which ones will I have in fifth grade? Enrichment classes are the classes besides core classes. You'll take art, Spanish, music, PE, and CE. When do you get your schedule? Schedules are very important for CCS students. We get two of them on the second day of school, one for your locker and one for your binder. We also have a special color coding system. What do you love most about being in fifth grade? I love seeing all my friends in the hallways because we are not in, usually not in the same class. I, love, I also love moving from class to class with different teachers because it helps me focus on different subjects, one subject at a time, and I love doing all the fun projects that we get to do. What is the coolest locker decoration you have ever seen? I think the coolest locker decoration is a squishy magnet, like this one, a chandelier for girls, a little plant, or a cavalier sports magnet. Do we have study all? If so, how long is it and when does it meet? Yes, we do have study hall and it lasts for 45 minutes. It is right before lunch every day. What is advisory and when do you see your advisor? Um, cav, um, it's, I've got, it's not actually called advisory, it's called cav time and it meets on Tuesdays during homeroom and on Fridays during study hall. We do team building exercises and we learn about each other and we do a lot of um, learning exercises and um, different learning styles. What are your three favorite foods in the cafeteria? My three favorite foods in the cafeteria are giant cookies, Pop-Tarts, and chips. Can you tell us about the unlucky and lucky steps that lead down to the fifth grade floor? Have you ever heard of the unlucky step? Well, this is it. People avoid it. There are, it's different than all the rest of the steps. It has dots on it. But one time, somebody tried to jump over it and it fell all the way down the stairs. So be careful. What are the different classes we take in fifth grade? 
The classes are what we have in fifth grade are math, science, special studies, reading, writing, PE, music, art, and Spanish. We heard that the seating arrangement for lots is different in fifth grade. How is it different? So, we have assigned tables but not assigned seats, and throughout the year, you switch through seven different tables. In fifth grade, I hear you take a trip to Paris Mountain. What do you remember most about this trip? I remembered all the fun activities that we did, and mostly I remember all the team building exercises, and my favorite was the hike. I am told you don't need a lock on your locker. Can you tell us why? The reason why you don't need locks on your lockers is because of the honor code. The honor code is to not cheat, steal, or lie, and we also can trust the people around us. What kind of books do you read in fifth grade? The two books we read in fifth grade are Home of the Brave and Because of Mr. Turrup in the summer. And then when you get to fifth grade, you read Bud Not Buddy. And then the rest of the year, you read anything you want. Hi, I'm Kate, and this is Miss Barrett, our fifth grade science teacher. She loves nature and animals, and her class is really cool. This is Miss Talbert, the fifth grade writing teacher. This is Miss Walker, our reading teacher. This is Miss Stone, our fifth grade social studies teacher. Hi. This is Miss Morin, and she is the best math teacher ever. Oh, thank you, Al. Now, parents, that you've learned the truth about fifth grade from the experts, we know that you and your child will love fifth grade. Yes, fifth grade is that transitional year from lower school to middle school. And when we know the true facts, um, it is the transition is smooth for everyone, especially students. So thank you for your time, and we'll see you next year.